a low barrier shelter this close uh, could potentially create a huge disaster. Developing right now in Norman, leaders at the Le Mans Charter School say they are very concerned about plans to move the city's warming shelter close by. News 9's Tevis Hillis joins us live in Norman to explain the controversy. Tevis? Well, the city manager has been looking for a new place to move the city's warming shelter, and he says that he's found a building the state owns. It's vacant, and he said it would be the best place to put it right here, right by this charter school. Children come here to learn Spanish or French with English as their secondary language at school. Le Monde International School has nearly 400 students, and they're celebrating their fourth year of being open. After a meeting with the Norman City Council, the school's concerned about how close this warming shelter would be to their students. The last thing we would want is for parents to start withdrawing and our school to fail because we have no control over the location and, and what's being put here. This warming shelter is low barrier. That means there's not much screening for people who come in. It'll be open from 7 at night until 7 in the morning. With the $4,000 a month rent we would save on the current location, we would suggest hiring an additional security officer, so we would have a total of three. The big thing that comes to mind are sex offenders. Low barrier shelter wouldn't be checking that sex offender status. Even though they want to add additional security, school leaders say they're still concerned. For Ward 4 Counselor Lee Hall, she says she needs more information about why before she moves forward. They have expressed no concern about the expansion of food and shelter. They have expressed no concern about the village, housing village of people who already live there. So I want to make sure I really get the context for where the concern is coming from now. As a, a society, we need to put our children first, the um, ones who don't have a voice. And the city manager says that this wouldn't be a permanent solution. I've also reached out to the city and mayor for further comment, but have yet to hear back. Live in Norman this morning, Tavis Hillis, Oklahoma's own News 9.